Hi, just a quick video to share an announcement here which showed up on my Twitter timeline. So thanks to the viewer that uh, pointed me to this. It's just released. Um, uh, the TMA announces retirement of Times 1, Times 10 switchable oscilloscope probes. And I never, who's the TMA? I never, never actually heard of the TMA. But uh, if we go over and, and check them out, tmalliance.org, uh, the test and measurement Alliance, they're called. Uh, they're in California, and they're an, alim an, an alliance of test and measurement companies. Um, comments down below, please, if you've heard of them, because I, I didn't know such an alliance uh, actually existed. The Alliance of Leading Electronics Test and Measurement Companies thinks standardization. We do. <laughs> Marketing. Who makes up this crap? I don't know. Um, uh, test probing. So it looks like they do, like... Um, standards or something for test and it's a bunch of test and measurement companies that have got together formed an alliance and they set like standards together where necessary and appropriate in um, fields like test probing uh, environmental I assume that's like a, you know PCB and product uh, environmental testing operability um, so that's interesting uh, and connector standards okay and protocol standards as well and yeah compliance standards as well and check it out there's actually a lot of partners keysight tektronix roden schwartz uh lacroix teledyne lacroix siglent uh fluke national instruments mixig gw instec rigol picoscope it's a who's who Handtech, Bryman, BK precision probe master fleur pomona uh pmk they make probes which We'll get into, they're one of the big uh, Euro, German, Europe, I believe, a uh, German maker of um, scope probes, uh, Testec O1, um, and there's probably others. But anyway, they've got this announcement. Uh, the TMA announces retirement of times one times 10 switchable oscilloscope probes. The TMA, an international alliance of test and measurement companies, today announces a significant industry-wide decision to retire. Retire? I think they mean ban. Uh, that's the only way I can take this. Times 1, times 10 switchable oscilloscope probes in all new Alliance member oscilloscope products. So that presumably all of those companies mentioned. And it's effective from the start of Q3 2023. This decision is backed by industry leading oscilloscope companies, apart the blah blah. They include uh, Keysight, Tektronix, yeah, so all the biggies, right? All the big oscilloscope manufacturers, this proactive measure, here comes the wank words, this proactive measure comes as a response to growing concerns about the limitations and potential risks associated with switchable probes. The TMA has identified several key reasons for the discontinuation of these probes. So it looks like all these manufacturers are going to discontinue shipping times one, times ten switchable probes with all new scopes as of Q. Three. Um, ironically, I was just complaining about this probably last month, I think, on uh, Twitter. I goofed up like, you know, everyone's done it, right? You've had the probe switch to the times one or times ten when your oscilloscope was set to the... Because there's no way for the probes to auto-detect. Because everyone's used to this, of course. There's just no way to detect um, which switch position you have it in. Um, even if your probe's got that automated, uh, you know, uh, probe detection, it can't detect a physical switch like this. It can identify times 10, but it can't identify, like, uh, probes like this. So, yeah. Anyway, they've got a whole bunch of reasons here. Let's go through them. Lack of auto detection. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> switchable probes cannot auto detect it, which can lead to incorrect readings. These inaccuracies can cause cost of mistakes and over if, yeah, well, you know, fair enough. Increased complexity. The switchable design adds unnecessary complexity to the oscilloscope setup, including the likelihood of user error and time consuming troubleshooting. True. Uh, re reduce reliability. The times one times ten switch has been found to be a common point. Yeah, I've I've had probes fail. So causing frustrating equipment downtime and maintenance costs. Fair enough. Manufacturing uh, bomb cost minimization, of course. Penny pinching. Come on. Marketing a penny pinching. Um, the, the accountant accounting department a penny pinching by eliminating the need for switchable probes manufacturers can reduce the number of components in the uh, bond costs thereby lowering production costs ultimately providing more cost-effective solution to customers eh. enhanced durability fixed times one times ten probes are less prone to wear and tear due to the absence of switch mechanisms yes result in a longer lifespan and a reduced need for replacements uh, improved signal integrity the fixed nature of times one times ten probes can lead to better signal integrity and more accurate measurements by minimizing the risk of attenuation distortion caused by poor switch contacts or impeding 
impedance mismatches. Drew, um, their streamlined product offerings by focus on times one times ten pros. Manufacturers can concentrate their resources on improving these core products, resulting in high quality and more specialized offerings. Mm -hmm. Simplified user training. The use of fixed times one times ten pros can make it easier for technicians and engineers to learn and master the proper use of oscilloscopes, reducing the need for extensive training, minimization for potential errors. Uh, grown. Enhanced compatibility. Standardizing on fixed times one times times ten pros can help ensure greater compatibility across different oscilloscope models and brands, making it easy for users to in interchange probes and equipment as needed. And of course, there's an environment thing, isn't there? Um, the impact reduction. By eliminating the need for option additional switch components, the production of fixed times one times ten pros can contribute to a reduction in electronic waste aligning with global sustainability goals, of course. <sighs> and promoting responsible manufacturing practices. As a result of these concerns, all TMA partners and their subsidiaries will only supply fixed times 1 and times 10 probes with future oscilloscopes from Q3 2023 going forward. By streamlining the oscilloscope setup, eliminating the aims to measurement, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The TMA remains committed to, yeah, wank, wank, wank. So there you have it. Um, Looks like these major manufacturers are going to effectively ban, discontinue supplying switchable probes. You won't get switchable probes with your products anymore. Presumably, you'd still be able to get them from suppliers who aren't part of this alliance, but I, there you go. Um, that's, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Um, some of those reasons are, you know, they're actually legit reasons, but I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Do you think they should ban are these switchable probes it looks like well stock up so i don't know i'm kind of scratching my head about this one um leave it in the comments down below do you think it's a good idea to effectively ban well, well they're not banning them they're, they're just not going to supply them anymore um the, all the major manufacturers are not going to supply give you your time switchable probes anymore so there you go what a bummer huh for you uh, are you a switch a switchable probe fanboy or do you hate these things you absolutely hate them with a passion yes damn it they should ban these things and uh, yes burn them all in hell anyway first i've heard of this test and measurement alliance but um yeah it seems seems pretty big um so yeah all these partners there looks like they've all agreed to it so there you go uh, i don't know thoughts and comments down below good or bad that they're banning effectively um Switchable probes. Ah, uh, catch you next time. <laughs>